Hello, Mickey Huddleston, Pioneer Field Agronomist for the Oak Plum and Texas Panhandles. Um, kind of late in the evening, about a little after seven o'clock, come back by uh, a test plot we have with the 99 day corns up to about 111. Um, we're kind of getting to that time of the year where we have a lot of, of moths flying around the area, especially if you're going home after dark, moths flying towards the pickup, messing up your windshield, uh, get to the house, you're outside light, moths swarming around, you know, outside. Uh, what, what are those moths? You know, some of them could be potentially southwestern corn borer moths uh, that can lay eggs and the southwestern corn borer hatches out and bores into the stock. We got uh, some of those moths could potentially be earworm moths that come in and lay an egg usually around the ear zone on the silks, hatch out, go in, inside that ear, you know, and, and chew on a lot of corn. Uh, I guess what I want to kind of kind of focus on today is, is more south, or the western bean cutworm moth. Um, good time to look at look at corn, is, especially for western bean for scouting for eggs. Now I'm going to kind of give just a, a quick cheat on, on one way to kind of pick out those eggs as you're walking through the corn, especially late in the evenings. You can kind of pick out the shadows, especially looking towards looking towards the sun through the leaf. Um, but as you're walking along, you can kind of pick out, like on this next, next leaf right here, is actually kind of a shadow. Um, as, I, as I grab that leaf to kind of get, get it where the wind's not blowing it as bad, definitely a different kind of shadow. Zigs and zags on the ends are not, not straight on the ends, so um, looks like something has, has been put on that leaf. Um, another good way is to actually just flip through the collars. I mean, you look, flip the leaves down, look on the kind of the top and bottom side of the leaves. But on this particular leaf, you can see that there is a western bean cutworm egg mass laying on the top of that, top of that leaf. So um, not, not too far away from hatching, especially with some heat. The more heat you have, the faster they're gonna hatch out. Uh, and then they're gonna try to go, go find an ear somewhere to, to bore in and do, do a lot of damage to that ear. So I uh, hope this helps um, and thank you very much. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.